Welcome to Montana. Welcome to this beautiful setting and welcome to the wedding of Sean and Allison. Wedding ceremonies often quote 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, and three things that will last forever are faith, hope, and love. It's a beautiful passage and these words are certainly true, but how can you show your love toward one another? I think you can show love toward one another in marriage and it can be summed up in this way, 4-H. And I don't mean the kind of 4-H where you show a prized deer at the Montana State Fair, but I mean the four H's of honor, humility, humor, and hope. Honor, someone to always have your back, always save you a seat, always look out for you, your safe place to land. Knowing that decisions you make and actions you take have an effect on one another, and always showing love by considering the other in your actions and your decisions. Humility. I remember when we got married, the pastor said the two most important phrases in a marriage are, you are right and I'm sorry. <laughs> I would amplify that to say love moves first. Love draws you to say, I'm sorry first, and to be the first to offer grace, even when maybe it's not deserved. That is the definition of grace, and humility takes the action. Humor. Comedian Jay Leno said that you can't stay mad at somebody who makes you laugh, and I know this to be true. <laughs> Life is better when you have someone you can laugh with, share hundreds of inside jokes with, and using humor will get you through tough times and make the good times even better. Finally, hope. Hold on to hope. The hope that in bad times, knowing that this too shall pass, and especially have faith in the hope of God's perfect timing. Your individual life stories and now the story of the two of you together so clearly show God's perfect timing. Jeremiah 29 11 offers these words, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. You've already seen the effect of God's hope and perfect timing. Your meeting was no accident. You both moved back to Florida within a month of each other. You both served others in the same industry. You both have educators in your family. You both have struggles in your lives, but you both had become sober, meeting each other and starting your relationship clear-eyed and clear-headed. You both saved each other. You both agree that God's providence brought you to one another to be lifelong partners to help one another because as Genesis 2.18 tells us, it is not good for man or woman to be alone. God's timing was perfect and you have the hope of God's timing to carry you forward in your new life together as practicing members of the 4-H club <laughs> with honor, humility, humor, and hope. Amen. Sean and Allison have chosen to perform a sand unity ceremony. Sean and Allison, today you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They represent your lives before today. They represent the white sand of the Florida Panhandle where Sean grew up and where you two met. And of course, the purple represents the K-State cats. Go cats. <laughs> As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured into the individual containers, so may your marriage be. Allison. I've always heard those stories of people saying they knew love from the first time they met. I never fully believed this until the day I walked into your home. Instantly you made me feel comfortable. Instantly I was nervous. Instantly I wanted to know everything about you. From that moment forward, we have been inseparable. There's never been a moment in the past couple of years where I, I don't think of you. My entire world changed with a lucky swipe right on a girl who I thought was out of my league. I never could fathom the true happiness 
that was possible with the right person. You not only made my life better, but you have single-handedly saved my life. I never imagined I could find not only a love, but a friendship like I have with you. You have made me the best version of myself. You are the most selfless, loving, caring, loyal, genuine, giving, smart, hardworking, and wonderful person I have ever known. Your personality is magnetic. Everyone who meets you instantly loves you, trusts you, and wants to be around you. You make even the most difficult situations seem like a walk in the park. If there were more people like you, the world would be a better place. When I was low, you built me up. When I was doing well, you celebrated. When I needed help, you were always there. When I wanted a smile, you brought the jokes. When I needed love, you never let me go. You are the most beautiful human I have ever known, both inside and out. My mother always said I had a team of guardian angels watching over me because one of them just wouldn't have been able to do the job. <laughs> They've guided me in difficult times as well as good, and they knew to guide me to you. Divine intervention is the best way for me to describe how you came into my life. My promise to you is that I will always be the man you fell in love with. I will always work hard to protect our family in any way I can. I will travel with you. I will be good to you. I will love your family as my own. I will push by the backyard silently <laughs> cursing every single time. I will keep the AC set to the Arctic. I will always be your best friend and your person to talk to. And I will make sure we continue our to take our adventures in the mountains and the woods. I promise to do fun things with you, not to let our life be consumed with our careers. Let's book that flight. Let's go to that place. Let's try this new thing. Let's go to that sports game. You've asked me a couple of times if I've been nervous over the past year while planning this wedding. I wasn't nervous before and I'm not now. I'm happy, I'm in love excited, I'm proud, probably also trying to hold back in tears, but I'm not nervous. I found my person, my lady, my best friend, my partner in life, my wife, Allison. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Take you, Allison. Take you, Allison. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise you all of my love. I promise you all of my love. For all of my life. For all of my life. <laughs> I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'll try to top it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sean, Pooch, as we jokingly refer to one another. The road that led me to you was not always easy. You came into my life when I was ready to embrace something different than what I had been doing. When I returned from to Florida, I wondered what different would look like. Little did I know, with a simple swipe, <laughs> uh, right, um, and a message from a guy opening up about Kansas, that my new life was better, better than I could ever have imagined in my wildest dreams. It took us three days to exchange I love yous, and after a mere four days, you agreed <laughs> to come to Kansas with me for Christmas to meet my family. Finally, I met someone that was just as clingy, passionate, and obsessive as me. <laughs> someone who also knew what they wanted and immediately had to go after it. From that moment we met, I have never looked back and wondered what my life would be like without you. You are my best friend, my biggest supporter, and while sometimes not willingly, my snuggle buddy. <laughs> you have brought me so much laughter and love in our time together. You make me feel smart and strong. You have also brought me peace and tranquility. When I'm stressed, you know just what to say. With a simple look, everything will be okay. There are so many things that I love about you. I love <laughs> that your eyes get soft when you talk about those you love. I love how hardworking you are and that even though you've had to start over many times, you keep fighting. I love how smart you are and how you try to understand the world around you. I love that you, 
can make a new friend anywhere we go. <laughs> uh, I love that you love my family like they're your own and would do anything for them. I love that you are protective of me in our relationship and you go are willing to go outside of your comfort zone to guard those things. I love that you are committed to being the best version of yourself. Because I love you and because you've changed my life for the better, I vow to be thankful for all the things that make you you every single day. I vow that I probably won't learn to use the washing machine we bought over a year ago. <laughs> I vow to never quit complaining about those Arctic cold temperatures <laughs> that you have thermostat tests to. <laughs> I vow to use the coffee maker, espresso machine, and cold brew maker you bought to break me of my sometimes multiple a day Starbucks runs. <laughs> I vow to always make you think twice about losing your temper and to be a constant reminder that killing them with kindness is more rewarding in the end. I vow to see you or call you when you're being a salesman. <laughs> I vow to make sure you never have to have a dark thought alone. Our past is our past, but our present and future is only a reality because we had to figure things out a little different. We still will have those times we let anxious thoughts and fear begin to creep in. But all of that will quickly begin to fade away when we remember the life we've created. Two cats, who you tried, for the record, to convince me you were allergic to. <laughs> A dog you talked me into getting to, that now sleeps with us every night, sometimes to your dismay. A professional partnership and a house we have made into our home. I vow to spend days being greeted by Bentley, bringing us whatever he can get his mouth on as, when we walk through the front door. I vow, I vow to spend many nights at the dinner table eating something that you smoked on the Traeger and one of your famous salads. I vow to watch the sun rise over the ocean and set in the mountains. I vow to never stop stealing glances at you from across the room. I vow to love every piece of you the rest of the days of my life. And most importantly, I vow to take things one day at a time and continue to live my best life with you. Allison, repeat after me. I, Allison. I, Allison. Take you, Sean. Take you, Sean. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise you all of my love. I promise you all of my love. For all of my life. For all of my life. Uh oh, maybe she has a bigger size. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray. Father God, bless Sean and Allison as they now begin their lives as husband and wife. May they practice for each in their love toward one another and realize in all things the hope of your perfect timing. Amen. And now, by the power vested in me by the great state of Montana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make this your friend. Love you. <laughs>